Um, we're going to read the Lord's Prayer. Watch Nash. My mom is going to read that. After that, I have one of my helpers here, my cousin Johnny Pop up, is going to walk around with a tray of wine. Now, he'll come up to you and he'll ask you if you would like some wine. Uh, the wine is for the purpose of toasting. So don't really guzzle it back, just kind of hold back. Okay, we can do that later. Um, so this, if anybody does have anything that they want to say, you want to come on up, I know Aline Boykin's raring to go here. You know, we have the, it's not an audio visual, but we do have audio to back it up. That's right. Yeah. So if there is anybody here that would like to say something, feel free. Come on up. Uh, but the way we're going to start it is after the Lord's Prayer, and Brenda and Al are going to start off, and they're going to go in an orderly fashion. They're going to start from that side, and they will walk through. Oh, sorry, this side. Sorry. Um, they will walk through, and then everybody else. Now, we're not going to go by tables, but just use your common sense, orderly fashion. See, there's a lot of people that are up here. What's the point of standing and waiting for half an hour? Wait until it kind of fills through, and then get up and walk through. Um, then, once everybody's sitting down, that's when Johnny is going to come on by. And just like I said earlier, he'll ask if you'd like the wine or not. Okay, do we have any questions? Yes, what, what, what kind of wine? What kind of wine? It's a white wine. It's very good. It's a number three. Oh, you can't really just casually make things up. Otherwise, I'm going to be standing here and kind of thinking, well, what am I going to say? So, I thought of two things, two, three things that I thought that were kind of some of the highlights of uh, Brenda living in Cass Street. Now, you got to understand that Brenda's a very unique person. You have to understand her, okay? So hopefully this can kind of describe the type of person that she's like, and it'll kind of help out Al. Uh, maybe she never told you what she was all about. So maybe this is, you know, a little bit of a icebreaker. Okay. Being a brother of Brenda's, I've managed to live up to her high standards. And at the same try, time, trying to figure out just where she was coming from. Not only understanding her way of thinking, but trying to understand where she was coming from at 8 in the morning. And this happened many times. So, yeah, she's, she's had her standards set at such a high level that it's very too hard for you to understand exactly where she's coming from. And at the same time, where she was coming from in the morning. Brenda, known as the rebel of our family, has always been the wild one, but over the last few years, Al has managed to tame her down somewhat, well, I think. We're not sure yet, but we're along that way. Brenda, Brenda also is the one in her family that can make people do stuff that they would not normally do, okay? So she'll convince you, she'll coerce you, she'll twist your arm, that yes, you're gonna have to do it, Brenda's way. For example, when Brenda was a young teen, she had this close relationship with her relatives that had their driver's licenses. Okay, now that's the key thing here. Brenda does not have her driver's license. She has a lot of relatives that are on the road. They have wheels. So what does Brenda do? She kind of gravitates right towards them. You know, it gives her some of that partial freedom. For example, she frequently called Claire Berrigan into taking her out for a spin on Claire's grandpa's car. I'm, I'm sure that some of you that live out in here in Pass Creek still see that same car, the old blue car. It's still out here. It's yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, but a drive in the country was not enough for a girl that constantly craved excitement. Okay, this is one girl that you can't keep her chained down. She needs that room. She needs the movement. So, she would not only ask to drive that old blue car, but just like one of the guys, she wanted to make sure that the strip that Claire made on the pavement was not longer than hers. So she'd want the second try, the third try, until hers is longer. Now if I pull check stretch, <laughs> I'm sure some of those patches are still out there. Okay, when Brenda finally received her license, I don't know how many demerits she had, she came pretty close, probably had like 41 up 42, so very close. <laughs> Um, 
The highway department finally decided to straighten out the Pass Creek roads. Then again, that's probably because Brenda was calling them and telling them to straighten it up because she couldn't keep the car on the road. So what does she do? You know, she has to con them into it, making the road nice and straight. Her new freedom also gave her the opportunity to taxi her younger siblings, such as myself, to Castlegar on the weekends. For example, again, whenever Ken Cherniff and I wanted to go out for pizza on a Friday night, Brenda would, and I quote, volunteer. Now she'd be there, well, I'll take you, I'll take you. She, yeah, sure, she would take us out for pizza, but there was always that cost. You know, what do we have to do, Brenda? What is it? Well, Ken and I would have to back in the car, wash the car, sweep the carport, and of course, wash the rest of the dishes that she was doing in the meantime, so she kind of throw it on to you and say, well, you got to do the dishes and you got to make sure the car looks good because, you know, we can't drive around this little Hyundai looking dirty. <laughs> so everything had to be nice and clean. Well, after all these years, I don't think her standards have changed much. Even for Al. But I'll bet that whenever Al wants to go out for dinner, he probably has to back in the car, wash the car, Sweep the carport and wash the wash the dishes the brand is supposed to do. So I don't think things have changed for a while here. But this time, I'd like to also give a toast. So if we can all raise our glasses. This is. This is to Brenda and Al now, so you know we cannot exclude him from this. I mean, it's one package deal now. So to Brenda and Al, to welcome to our family. Welcome. Cheers. Cheers.